Fanatic here, and we are here live with Train Sim World. And I got this game about a week ago, and yeah, as you can see, you can look off that on the right side. I've, I've done I've done quite a bit. I've completed Passenger Engineer with the F40, um, which we'll probably go back and do some of them later because uh, there's I think there's uh, like a ton of missions that are extra along there. But um, we're on Chapter Two right here. I'm about halfway through chapter two, um, and uh, yeah, this is basically the only route I've driven so far. After we com after I complete this, um, in which you can watch some of my streams on Twitch now. I, I stream on Twitch. Um, this time I'm just I'm gonna stream on YouTube for this one, just so that way I can uh, you know introduce my YouTube audience to this game. Um, but yeah, here we are. We're going to do train 261, San Jose to San Francisco, limited stop service. Should be fun. Yeah, no, Train Some World is an awesome game so far. It's, uh, like, I it's hard to explain. Um, but there's, it, I mean, it's such a unique train simulator. Like, out of all the train simulators I've driven, it, I don't think I've ever had a train simulator quite like this before. Amazing. Yeah, really. Yeah, and, um, afterwards, uh, I would recommend, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll link my, um, I'll link my Twitch in the description, and, uh, you can come join me afterwards, um, on my Twitch. It's, uh, 'm uh um the thing about you know the the brakes is that I actually really didn't understand brakes until I started playing this game like uh um this this like especially the you know the these the the caltrains trains they have um they have these uh this setting brake area instead of um instead of just you know saying a hundred percent but I get it now I would say it's probably the best $50 I've ever spent in a game. Like, 
like this is uh at least in my eyes it's a uh, it's a game of the year right here at least game of the year material pretty bold claims but hey a single mess it goes up to 40 and as you can tell I'm not too uh, well versed in um, in uh, the northbound service yet like I, I I nailed the southbound service after uh, after all the missions that they had and there's still more southbound services to be done but journeys are completed, I've completed a, completed all the missions for Commuter Engineer on the F-40. Right on schedule. Actually, 30 seconds uh, early, actually. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Uh...
show you super, su something super quickly before we depart. Look at that beautiful freight station. There's a there's an awesome HO scale layout inside there. And uh, next time I'm going up to the Bay Area, I'm checking them out. Up Lawrence, which is an interesting name for a town name. But then again, there are a lot of interesting towns in California, such as Weed, California. And uh, Paradise. Yeah, everyone. Uh, Everyone that kept track of that fire that happened about a year ago. Well, everyone knows what paradise is now. Which sucks, but that's what happened. shots right there. Yes, we're on China. Uh, I'm doing on uh, PlayStation. Usually, I actually play. Uh, usually, I do uh, train sims on the, on you know PC, but I have a train sim world because I saw that it was on. PS4. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, um, yeah. I would. I would have bought this game on PS. Uh, like PS. Uh, I mean PC. But um, I don't know. I just saw. I saw that. I saw when I saw the launch on uh, PS4. I was just like, Hey, you know what? I'm getting this. I'm gonna get it. Because I can't. PS4 is definitely a lot more streamer friendly, I would definitely say. Like, in the end. Like, they, of course, there's uh, there's always exclusives, you know. But, um, I, I've always been a PlayStation sort of person. No matter what people say about it. Of course, PC Master Race, but, you know, this is how it is. The way it is. Oh, 
Welcome to Lawrence. Oh, I uh, I bought Train Sim World 2020. I um I didn't own the previous Train Sim World. Uh, the Train Sims that I owned were they were the same people, um, but um they were uh they were the uh the other version. They were the um they were what was it? Um, it was still by Dovetail, but uh I I actually hadn't played Train Sim World. Yeah, okay, yeah. I I mean I um I saw uh what was that YouTuber's name? Uh Gaming Lemon. Yeah, I saw Gaming Lemon's thing. <laughs> he jumped out of the train. Oh man, that was that was something. Yeah, I um yeah, the primary reason why I got it on uh why I bought this game in particular and this time was because they had the um they had the um this route the peninsula route and it's probably one of if not one of if not the favorite um like commuter railroad that i hadn't played virtually yet so yeah that's why i decided to purchase uh purchase this Actually, um, I just because uh, they they've uh, for this train sim world, I don't know, I didn't play the other one, but uh, for this train sim world, they've divided it into chapters for like each um, like section of driving. Like um, this one is uh, on derailments. Oh no, I did not see the improved derailments yet. I've uh, I've only driven this. Um, you know, as kind of prototypically as possible. I will, uh, I definitely will take a look at, uh, derailments in the future. I might even, uh, I might even publish a video on, um, on my channel here. Uh, you know, probably something about that. Funny though, my uh, my brother was actually playing this game the other day, and he uh, when he uh, he was driving the F40 out of San Francisco, and uh, he um, uh, he got curious, so he left the cab, and he just stepped down, and the train was you know going 25 miles an hour, boom, it was gone, because he had just throttled up too, so that's his mistake. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, uh powered, uh, run away. Right on the money. Oh, got beautiful. Yeah, I, I like driving the cab car a lot better than the F40. It's so much quieter. It's just, it's way better. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm just more familiar with uh, miles per hour, that's why I use it. There we go. Yeah, I would imagine it'd be more precise because uh, uh, I think the company is based out of, um, I think, Australia, I think? Yeah. Yeah, I think Dovetail's based out of Australia. I do gotta say, though, they do make some great American rounds. That's where I'm broadcasting. California. We know how to party. Yeah. I mean, and then I have a lot of friends who are abroad, and so I know uh, kilometers per hour, and I, I, I have a quite understanding of it, because I've played uh, train simulators in the past that, you know, you use kilometers per hour. Obviously, yeah, it does give you the uh, the speed limit in. Well, I mean, I mean, it's pretty easy to talk because it's got that little marker there, and you would be a little more precise. But um, yeah, I've, I uh, yeah, it's it. I, I've just yeah, I grew up with miles per hour, so that's what I know. Out of curiosity, uh, where are you from? Game now. Sick. That's awesome. Must have great Wi Fi. the cold like the cold that sends uh, distance in uh, for electrical things because I actually am um, a pilot as well and I uh, on a you know cold cold days I can actually hear uh, pretty far away Sucks. Oh well, that happens. Yeah, no, I, I have a very little understanding of snow. I mean, um, I, I've gone up into the mountains before, and uh. They were actually on time. Yeah, so. Never woke up to a snowy morning before. Or, no, wait, that was a lie. I, uh, I woke up to a snow morning once 15, 16 years ago. Welcome. Welcome board train to. 63, I believe. Let me double check the door. 261, I think. There we go. 261.
dream hoppers. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I do gotta say that they um, the the Dovetail actually does have a really good train sim for uh, up in um, up on the uh, Kicking Horse Pass. Yeah, and I really, really like that route. I do. I gotta say that. Just the whole history of Kicking Horse Pass and you know railroads in Canada. That it's always kind of interesting. me. Because people thought a railroad across America was impossible. They ain't, they ain't even heard of Canada. <laughs> oh man. have a question. Canadian National or Canadian Pacific? Like which rubber do you, uh, do you like more? For the Canadian region. Well, I mean, yeah, just to say in the hypothetical question, also this lady is just like, breaking the law, breaking the law. Oh, there you go, yeah. Yeah, I like, I like Canadian National, they're, they're cool, right, right? Especially their uh, their presence uh, in the United States. Historically, I um, I like the uh, the history of the Canadian Pacific. Yeah, I, um... Well, are you talking about the one uh, that happened in 83? Or, um... I mean, 86, I should say? Yes, I mean, there's a... I think there's a few of them. The big one that I know was the one back in 86. Where they, uh... Um, it was up near, I think, Edmonton. <laughs> Canadian National Crew. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's that. Yeah, I know that one. The Edmonton Crash. Yeah, super sad. But, I mean, that's... 
and the, the driver was, uh, he was... I mean, there's a reason why, uh, I mean, Robert's, like, um, Southern Pacific, uh, did, uh, medical, medical checks and records. Because, um, you know, it was just, you know, you don't want, uh, someone with a ton of diseases and, you know, someone who's tired, especially, you know, behind the controls of a train. I mean, it's, it's really, it's really kind of shocking, actually, that it was by, you know, 86 that, you know, we had crews that were running, you know, you know, 21 hour days, I mean, well, not 21 hours, but, you know, a long, long days that, you know, and they, they had very short turnarounds. Yeah, yeah, no, the story of the conductor on that train, oh my god. Like, seriously, dude? Like, he, they're not responding. You should probably pull the emergency brake. I mean, yeah, I know there are dead zones up there, but, like, seriously. If you see, uh, like, I mean, well, uh, he can't really tell the, uh, the signals, but, like, if they don't call the signals, like, at all, and you can hear, uh, I mean... He could hear the VO rail train, like, from the head end, so, like, I don't know why he was under the impression that, you know, he could, wouldn't have been able to hear the crew. I don't know, it, it just, just, I, he was kind of stumbling over himself, he was like, you know, I mean, still, I mean, I mean, I guess, you know, nowadays, you know, 2020 uh, hindsight, you know, it's just how it is. You know, it, things wouldn't have changed if uh, that accident wouldn't have happened, so that's how it is. Next up, Palo Alto. But it, it, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I know that he knew what the singles meant. He just, um, he completely, like, I mean, because he was at, you know, the absolute rear of the train. And he knew that, you know, he was, he, they, they had to wait for the BBA rail passenger train. And they were going to report that they, they had to slow down, but they weren't. Which should have been a major tip-off for him. Because he should have, he should have, you know, heard brake compressors. He, I mean, no matter how new of an engineer he was, he should have, uh, he should have done something. But, you know, like I said, 2020 hindsight, he's... Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's the example of, you know, lazy conducting, in a sense. That's a... Someone, someone who... Well, by the time he, uh, by the time the VOL train saw the, uh, saw the, uh, you know, CN train, they were already on the same track. There was literally nothing they could have done. I mean, even with both trains in emergency, like, um, both, they, they would have, uh, they still would have collided in a major catastrophe. I mean, it would have, pro it probably would have, you know, been less severe, but... 
there's no way to, you know, make an accident like that any less severe than it was. I mean, you gotta think about it. It's, uh, what was it? The most mile, two mile freight train that, you know, was barreling along at a fairly decent speed. That, you know, should have been a major tip off to the conductor. It was, it was his problem. It was the conductor's problem. He, it was his fault. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, you know? Yeah, at least that worked. Oh, hold on. Let me show you. Check out this cool station right here. Look at the Palo Alto station. It's got it's got a very 50s retro design. And I think that's probably what they were going for. It kinda looks like a kinda looks like a ship a little bit with the like the porthole on the top right there. <laughs> exactly. Running in the 90s. Oh my gosh, we arrived really early. Cause we've been we've been sitting here for almost a minute here. I'm surprised we haven't uh, you know been going over speed here. Yeah, we just, we're we're not due out for another 30 seconds. I'm gonna be trying the other routes after I, uh, yeah, after I do this, after I finish this. Yeah, this is gonna be, uh, one of the few that I'm gonna be publishing on, uh, YouTube Live. Um, the rest are gonna be on my Twitch, and, uh, after I'm done, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna link my uh, my uh, YouTube, uh, my Twitch account to uh, to this. Like I'll I'll put the I'll put a link to it. So that way people uh, people can watch my uh, regular ones. I've seen some pretty close calls. Uh, I know, um, I can't remember if it was an Amtrak train or probably Via, um, but uh, there was this, um, there was this one time where um, they, uh, like, the, the train was coming to a, uh, to a red signal, and uh, he was, he was barreling towards that red signal, and he, I think he threw the train into an emergency, and he was only inches away from this double stack train. Just like right there, like right at the switch. It was, he was way past the signal. It was, God. I bet he was fired. <laughs> Just saying. Here's Menlo Park with the yellow station for some reason. Yeah, like, hold on. Take a look at this. 
Let's climb down the steps super quickly. I mean, look at that. Like, it it, it kind of looks like the original uh, clapboard for uh, Southern Pacific, but like they painted it yellow, which is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You could just go ahead and uh, throw it in this, uh, this chat. Caution, the doors are about to close. Something though something so nostalgic about that uh about you know that that uh automated voice. I don't know what it is. We're good, uh, we're at limited stop service here, so. Should only have a few stops here and there. Yeah, it's fine.
a little close to the crossing, but hey, that happens. Of course, if I were working for a JR company, I would be fired by now, but hey. It happens. see a southbound service growing in the bend up ahead. <laughs> Next stop, San Carlos. Actually, it's a great place, actually. There's a good, uh, good air museum at San Carlos, actually. There's a good, uh, it's also, uh, TGI Fridays right next to it. Beautiful place. Oh, there's the southbound service. There's also a, a, I'm trying to remember where that pizza place was. Maybe it was in San Bruno. Yeah. Yeah, there's a good pizza place around here somewhere. And the last time I was up in the Bay Area, I had it. Super good.
good. So, all set and ready for the roll. Uh, I've seen them in pictures, and uh, I know a couple people who have been on GO trains, but I personally, actually, I have never been to Canada. I do want to go. I've got some friends in Toronto, um, and, uh, yeah, mostly Toronto, actually. <laughs> um, I've got a, I've got a few friends in Toronto, and I do want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, the, um, the, uh... The bombardier cars that uh, Go trains have, uh, or they actually they they use them um, on the Metrolink service, which is down in the LA area. And so I um, I've been on the I've been on the bombardier cars before, so I know what they're like. They're they're pretty good. Yeah, these are the old uh, Chicago style cars big in the 70s. As you can see, they've got the uh, they've got the railing right here at the second level like that. And then um, on the lower level, um, usually there's seats, but this is the bike car, so there's uh, there's bicycle racks. I imagine go trains would be pretty, uh, pretty good. You know, with the, uh, uh curiosity, do you know if their on-time performance is pretty good? It's, uh, it's about how the LA area is. Actually, let me think. Uh, how many of, do they have in the LA area? They've got Metrolink, they've got Amtrak, they've got. What else? Um, there's another. Uh, there's another computer service, but yeah, the LA area is almost. Uh, it's pretty much. Yeah, it's the kind of the same actually. They've got. They've Metrolink connects uh, as far north as Chatsworth and as far south as uh, Oceanside, I believe. And then Oceanside, it picks up to uh, Coaster, which is uh, the San Diego one. And then Amtrak connects all of it. Yeah, I actually did. Um, the, uh, the uh, what am I trying to say? Um, Via, I know that Via has... Um, uh, they they use a lot of older locomotives, and I think it's uh, you know it's kind of cool that they've you know been able to uh, you know re uh, reinvigorate locomotives. Like uh like the prime mover on the back of my train um, right here is uh, the uh, the Cat uh, F40 Cat three. So. <laughs> One of the uh, one of the those rebuilt ones. Of course, it's not it's not like the rebuilt one that they use on the uh, on the like long distance Canadian uh, via rail trains. Those ones are those ones are beasts, a fantastic beasts, and you know exactly where to find them.
get it on this platform here. in the lower left corner. There's a, there's a, uh, go, what is that, excavator? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. God. I believe it was, uh, I think it was go that, um, that the, uh, there was, um, one of the, I think it was a go train that they were working on the tracks and, uh, someone messed up because there was, uh, he hit the excavator. That was weird. It was really, it was really, uh, sort of surreal. I think it was, a. Uh, it was one of the F-59s, I think. Just the way it looked, and the way it was damaged. It was a little tank, basically the upgraded F-40. And, love that locomotive. Sad to see it, um, disappear from California, but, hey. That's what happens. Next stop, Milbrae, San Francisco International. <laughs> yeah, it's like, whoops, my finger slipped. <laughs> oh, lordy, how does that happen? I could probably name a few. Welcome aboard, Train 61. Next stop, San Francisco International, Millbrae. There's a funny video out there, um, that, uh, there's a, uh, one of the, uh, someone who lives up in the Bay Area, um, he actually recorded the entire ride of, uh, between Gilroy and San Francisco, uh, from the, or at least, yeah, from the cab car view, and, like, oh my gosh, so the, as soon as it, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, just like... No, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. 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 I, uh, oh yeah. What happened to my airplane crash videos? Um... Well, uh... That's a funny thing. There's a funny thing called copyright in the United States. And it's kind of all over the world, but um... Yeah, uh... You don't use the music, uh... Properly, and uh, your videos get copyright strikes. And uh, what they do is uh, they essentially they can do one of three things: they can take the ad revenue, um, they can uh, ban it in certain countries, or they can ban the like ban the video altogether, and you get a black mark on your record. Um, they uh, they decided to go with the second one, where they, they it's, it's banned in certain countries. Most Western countries, people cannot watch it. If you go, if you have a VPN and you, uh, go to, like, probably some random country that they didn't think to, to, you know, ban it from, then you could probably see the videos. But, uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, all three of my, uh, air crash investigation music videos are under that, uh, country ban. 
Even the one with a uh, living tombstone, which shocked me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, someone did send me a, a personal one, like a, like a song that they actually personally made, and um, that one is in the works. I'm, uh, I'm. It's been in the works for a long time, but it's in the works. That's what's important. Um, and I do wanna, I do wanna get to publishing that one because, because uh, if they call, if they call, uh, if they call, you know, copyright on that, I'm gonna say, uh, no, this guy gave me his permission. Go copyright him. I'm about to use you. Yes. <laughs> yes, YouTube ban. Uh, give me the ban hammer. Oh, that's a beautiful shot right there. Yeah, uh, there's uh, the what the tracks next to us are the uh, are the cal uh, the BART tracks, and uh, actually, if you hop on those, you can actually get right into the airport over there. Perfect way to get into. Uh, Get on, get into the airport, or even get on the Embarcadero. So, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I highly recommend coming to the Bay Area. Uh, the Bay Area, it's great to see. A lot of things to do because it's like it's so many cities. It's just, it's amazing. Oh, yep, there's the jet. Realistically, if we were looking at that, uh, or, if, like, if the if the game was, you know, realistic at all, then we would be hearing jets almost constantly in this, uh, in this, uh, you know, section. Okay, the San Francisco International is one of the busiest, um dual-use runway airports in the world. I think it was where the first uh, A380 to come to America landed. Surprise me, but hey. Next stop, 22nd Street. Oh, cool. Yeah, they, uh, I don't know why, but they kind of have us uh, between Milbrae and um, San Francisco International, or I mean San Francisco, you know, proper. There's a uh, they, there's uh, there's quite a few stops, but they give us a. Uh, um, they give us uh, quite a quite a thing. Five million. Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's how it is. I mean, honestly, uh, if, in my, in a perfect world, you know, the, uh, the airlines, you know, they, they, they should, you know, be more, you know, crossing, like, from point to point, like, LA to New York, you know, that sort of distance. Or maybe even, um, in Canada's case, you know, Toronto to Vancouver. But when it comes to, you know, slow, slow, like, distances under a thousand miles, there really is no reason to fly. And it's just, I mean, honestly, they, uh, that's, that's what it should do. They, they should, um, trains should really, you know, be supporting the, uh, the air, air system.
and it really kind of explains the disappearance of a uh, like medium range or like uh, low range airliners. They they they've really kind of disappeared. I mean, you look at SkyWest, you know they've 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 changed uh, their um, build like build, and so they do uh, more uh, longer range flights. being a pilot and you get paid about as much as he would as he worked at McDonald's. Yeah, I saw the video. They did hire pilots, they did take on pilots, but not as many as they did when they were, uh, when they were, uh, before in the 60s. Thanks for watching the stream. Uh, definitely, uh, you could uh, check out uh, my uh, coach name is United4175. So if you want to go ahead and check out uh, my uh, my other one, which I usually am doing, 
um, pretty much every other day, so if you want to go check that out, judge my uh, Twitch stream. And, uh, alright, have a nice day. Nice talking to you. through the town. the window. <laughs> There are the other services that are but where have they been? Oh, they incur I incorrectly read it earlier. It's four uh, forty four forty three on the thing there. Henry's Tunnel. He's on the other side of that. <laughs> Here's 22nd Street, which uh, feels like a subway station, or a little, little bit. I mean, you got the overpass here, you've they got literally a concrete wall on both sides. It's, it's a little claustrophobic, just a little bit. I, I do not feel safe here. <laughs> Somebody get my agent. <laughs> it is like wow. Yeah, there's there's the slope on the other side as well. It's just like. Mm.
caution, the doors are about to close. Alright, final stop, San Francisco. We're doing it in about six minutes. I mean, oh wow, this is it's definitely interesting to see the uh And I mean uh, I'm pretty sure that these these tunnels probably, you know, they, they date back to the nineteenth century. Like I said, I didn't really understand brakes until I, I started playing this game. And now that I now that I know how the brakes work, I really sort of mastered it without the locomotive brake. Because usually, usually I'd use the the, the locomotive brake to slow down at the speeds like this. But now that I've learned, you know, set it. You can set it in holding, and it holds the pressure for you. So that way, you've got that, and then. There's the lap, which is just a little short of a, you know, that, but it doesn't, you know, release the main air. Really interesting, and a lot of science behind it. we'll be getting in on time. Welcome. Welcome to our train 261 as we uh, pull into San Francisco. Beautifully rendered San Francisco. Uh, terminal here. Really nice, really nice. This is actually not the original. The original station is actually two blocks further on at uh, King uh, King Street, I believe. Let's look it up. And it's a uh, it's a lot. I 
that's what <laughs> that's what great drivers do. Great drivers, think ahead. Here, perfect. Perfect! Yay! Mission can success! Awesome! Yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot better at this game. It's really, really, really fun. And uh, I've, I've went over it just a few times uh, there. But hey, that's, that's what great drivers do. So I'm gonna go back to pre run for a moment so I can secure my train. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and step out the train. Alright, awesome. Alright. Run down to the end, see what our prime mover was to for today. Our star today was engine 904, Palo Alto. Good old prime mover. And then who can forget San Carlos? Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> that's where the air museum is. Oh, lovely. Alright, well, um, that's pretty much gonna be all for today. Since the uh, mission is complete, um, there's that. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pop that uh, name in the description for the for my Twitch chat. And uh, you can actually join me on my next stream, uh, which will be probably, I might do one later tonight. Um, not quite sure, but I think I'll pop over on that one super soon. But, uh... So if you guys want to go check that out, that's that's my uh, Twitch chat or my Twitch. Uh, so you can actually go ahead and watch my uh, later performances. Or, you know, I get what I say. But yep, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much all for today. 
Um, I would like to thank you for watching. I will see you next time. United. Out.